Hey guys, this is D from GameXTC and today we're gonna to go through the complete installation process for Redream. So if you wanna be able to play your favorite Dreamcast games on your PC, then you're in the right place. Uh, let's get ready to rumble! The first thing you wanna do is head over to Redream's website. The link's in the description. You then wanna click either download or the Get For Desktop, which will then navigate you to the download page. Once here, you can ignore the upgrade to premium, but you want to select one of the options from the stable releases. Now, as I'm running Windows, I'm gonna choose to download the Windows version. And as you can see, the latest version is 1.5.0, which was released five years ago. As I've now downloaded Redream, you can now see it on my desktop. Using an application such as 7-Zip, the link's in the description, you want to right click, and then select Extract To. An extracted folder will then appear and you can then delete the zip folder. You can now open your unzip folder and then launch Redream. You may or may not receive a pop-up that asks you to verify the application. If you do, select Install anyway. Once the application is installed, then Redream will start to boot. Now the first thing that Redream is going to ask you to do is to access your library. This is so that it knows where the games are located. Selecting your library when using Redream is possibly one of the easiest setups that I've personally come across. All you have to do is select the drive in which your games are stored. And the beauty of this emulator is that you can select more than one drive. Once selected, your games will populate and also the cover art, if there's one available. You may have also noticed that one of your games is not currently supported. This I will go into a bit later. Now that we've loaded our library, let's take a look at the options. The system options are quite basic and to be quite honest, you don't need to make any changes here. So let's head over to the video. Unlike most emulators, the video option within Redream offers widescreen rendering, which is great since it enhances the visual experience, especially when playing with a controller. The ability to hide on-screen touch controls further contributes to a more immersive gaming experience, which is a nice segue onto the input option. If you have a controller connected, in my case it's a DualSense controller, it will automatically detect it. If you click the port, you can see the input device, you can see how much of the analog dead zone there is, in my case it's 12%, and you can also customize your buttons, which means you can map it. If you were to go into customize binds to map your buttons, all you have to do is select that button on the UI and then press the button on your controller. This emulator works with Xbox One controllers, PS5 controllers, and also PS4. Well, those are the ones I tested it with. Now that we've configured our controller, let's see how Marvel v Capcom looks using Redream. And to be fair, I'm not sure about you, but for me, this looks beautiful. It runs smooth and it looks slick. Now, if you were to press escape on your keyboard or the exit button on your controller, you are then faced with a couple of options. You can resume the game, you can manage your saves, and in this case, if you've got the light version of Redream, then you get one slot free. And if you want the premium version of Redream, you then get additional save slots. You can also manage cheats. Now, Redream already comes with default cheats, so you can switch them on or leave them switched off. You can also change discs if you're playing a game that involves more than one disc, for example, Shenmue, and you can also restart the game. Now, Redream also has a compatibility list, which tells you which games will work using this emulator. The link's in the description. Not only is this one of the best emulators on the market, it is very, very intuitive. And on that note, I'm gonna leave you with Ready to Rumble. Let's get ready to rumble! Arcade mode. Ready to rumble! Choose your boxer.